30 years after Constantinople, a ship heads into a storm off the coast of southern Africa on a journey that will open a new era of exploration. In command, Portuguese explorer Bartolomeu Diaz. Wealthy nobleman, expert seaman, risk taker. Diaz is heading into uncharted waters. Searching for a new route to India around the southern tip of Africa. These boats were hard to navigate, and yet people got in ships and sailed across oceans. It's really extraordinary how many of those ships never came back. Diaz has been using the coast to navigate. But as the storm gets worse, his guide becomes his enemy. You don't want to be near the shore because you don't want to get driven up on the rocks. You're getting blue water over the deck and things are breaking and, you know, all hell's breaking loose. You're terrified. You are sure this is it. I mean, you're making your peace with God and, and, and hoping for the best. Now, Diaz faces a choice that will determine the future for all of us. Head out into uncharted waters. Or risk death on the rocks. A pioneer on a journey that will change the shape of the world. Caught in a storm off the coast of Africa. Searching for a new sea route to the east. Bartolomeo Diaz has two options. Risk death on the rocks, or head out into the Atlantic Ocean and the unknown. He lowers the ship's square sails and puts his faith in an ancient Roman technology that will become the key to a new age of exploration. Triangular lateen sail. The sail acts like a wing almost. It actually develops lift, much like an airplane's wing. And if you have a strong rudder able to steer that ship towards the wind, it transmits all that energy into forward motion. You can at least make a tiny bit of upwind headway. Maybe you can claw your way off those rocks and not wreck and smash and destroy your boat. Diaz turns his ship and heads into the uncharted waters of the South Atlantic, risking everything if he can't find his way back to shore. Out of sight of land for 13 days. No idea what lies ahead. His maps are useless. Lost at sea. His fate now turns on a powerful force of nature beneath the waves. An ocean gyre, a vast circular current caused by prevailing winds working against the rotation of the Earth, creating a conveyor belt of water 4,000 times more powerful than the Mississippi River. So if you're sitting becalmed in an ocean gyre, it feels like you're you know, a painted ship on a painted ocean. Nothing's happening. But what's really going on is you're covering ground, but the whole sea is moving in this arc. 
The discovery of ocean gyres will revolutionize seafaring. But Diaz has no idea of the forces that slingshot his ship from an empty ocean toward the southern tip of Africa. He really had everything going for him. He had the prevailing winds with him. He had the current with him. And he was on a ride that he may not even have fully understood. Dias claims the land in the name of God and country. It will become known as the Cape of Good Hope. The key to a new sea route to the east, bypassing Constantinople. A direct passage to India. Within 50 years, it becomes one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world. 44,000 tons of goods shipped around the Cape each year, building new empires, new connections, and a new future.